Hey, welcome back to Reality Moving, a 6,000 pound milling machine in a 11 by 17 foot one car garage. <laughs> That's also full of machines. Hey, that's kind of fun doing this. Uh, I uh, originally go, hey, there is no way I'm going to do a video of this. But I just go, well, why not? You know, I can't be the only one that uh, does crazy stuff like this. So, uh, hey, let's have a close look and I'll show you, I'll show you some things here. <laughs> I tell you, the uh, video kind of distorts stuff. And I think it makes some things look larger and, and some things look smaller. And I think the video uh, makes this garage look bigger <laughs> than it actually is. So let's have a look here. Okay, I got the machine rotated, okay? And one of the really bad spots, I was going to... Uh, when I get the machine moved back, I got a, a laser, and I'd like to shoot it. <laughs> I'd like to shoot it across here. There's a real depression right here <laughs> where the machine was uh, sitting, and I don't remember it being that bad, you know? Now it's got a good crack over here, so um, I think this is a bad spot for this. <laughs> machine to be so I'm gonna shove it back there where the sun in heart is in the corner and uh, so right now I'm gonna push the push this machine back and it's gonna be easy now it was hard to get it out of the, out of the dip and uh, now this old mill is is different than I think any of them that I've ever seen in this incredibly large base that, that this machine has. And it's got these notches here. And I can actually maneuver the machine really pretty good just with those notches. But I can use the other bars to kind of inch it a little bit more carefully. <laughs> It's got those not it's got the notch up front here. And here's where the where the base is really much wider than uh most uh, uh number two machines anyway, where they're kind of rounded and they're narrower. And I don't know what the purpose of this giant uh heavy base on this machine is, but it's it's giant and heavy. It's a uh, number two plain standard of World War II vintage. So it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of a challenge. But uh, it'll go back uh, uh, easier now. I got to put a plate under uh, the, the back right hand corner there. Then I can push it back. <laughs> if I have to, I can... Uh, Put the ta put the table out this window, just. <laughs> but I don't think I'll have to do that. But I gotta get it uh, back far enough, and it's just uh, it's almost there, and uh, kind of against the wall there. I might have to move that, pull that around a little bit. But I'm gonna extract that. Uh, little monarch here and I'm going to use this as an anchor and I'm going to use this uh, chain come along here and uh, straps around the base here down low and on the monarch and put some tension on it then uh, put the monarch on plates and skid it out at least I think I'm doing that <laughs> yeah, it looks like I'm going to be able to do it. Then I'll, uh, I'll just get that uh, little monarch out and I'll park it uh, right here for now. And then I can access it and stuff like that. Then I'll move the super stallion monarch under the cover there. That's don't want to wake it up. I'm going to move it right here 
Now let's see. Jake Borg goes into that corner, and uh, it'll be easier for me to pull all that small stuff out. I've actually uh, got a lot of it dealt with. So it's going to be nice to kind of uh, start fresh, you know. I'll uh, get everything back in here that I need. I've, I've got a lot of stuff stored downstairs, sort of like my uh, tool crib. <laughs> it has to be that way with uh, such a small space. But uh, I don't know, things are shaping up okay. I, uh, I've, I've said before, one of the advantages, it's cold out there today, one of the advantages of a very small space like this is uh, it's easy to heat. Uh, in the winter and uh, cool in the summer with it just a little air conditioner and um, It's like I stuffed the walls of this garage with uh, as much insulation as I could stuff into it <laughs> And it, it works real good, but the, you know uh, machines like these uh, uh, Grinders and uh, jig boards and stuff like that. You got to keep them close to 68 degrees and uh, I've noticed if they get real hot That's when they really get out of whack, you know <laughs> get, When the machine gets up to 80 degrees or something like that the jig board is just way out of whack It'll be a couple thousands out of whack, which is way out of whack <laughs> so That's what the advantage of a small space is and uh, I don't know if uh, uh, if there's better ways to do this I'm sure there are better equipment and stuff like that but I can just goof around with it I uh, uh, definitely get tired of doing it a little bit but I got other things to do like yesterday afternoon I took the dogs for a walk around Bennington Lake so I <laughs> I get good breaks from this kind of uh, nasty stuff. But when it's done, it'll be very nice. I think it'll be great. Yeah. So that's what the disaster looks like right now. And uh, I'm just going to give a little bit of an update. Yeah. No, not this way. It's what it looks like. That is not a normal garage. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I mentioned it before. Um, the rent is like extremely high here in Walla Walla. It's like, uh, it's kind of a rich person's town. It actually is. And um, little garages like this has somebody living in it. And I don't know what the rent would be on, a, you know, make a little apartment out of this garage, but uh, it's probably at least 1500 bucks a month. So I lose $1,500 a month keeping these old machines in here and even more keeping them warm because they don't uh, chip in. <laughs> but, you know, there's, then there's uh, the part where you can, you know, make a couple bucks on the side and kind of offset some things, you know. But I'm sure not kicking out $1,500 uh, a month worth of rent. <laughs> but I'm having, I don't know, $10,000 a month worth of fun. Okay, I'll be back. More progress, hopefully. You guys have a good day.